Welcome to part three of my questions and answers video. So, this is my second the question and answers video. Like, I've made another one a few months ago, and this is my second one, and this is part three. And I really hope there's not a part four, but oh the hell well if there is. So, these, um, I'm very curious about this, but what is your height? I am about 5'10 and a half, basically 5'11. Yeah, I'm a tall bitch, but not, like, here's the thing. I wish I was, like, 5'8", because that's still, like, a tall-ish girl, but I'm not taller than all the boys, but I really don't like being as tall as I am, because I'm taller than everybody! I swear, at least, at least the six six-footers are a little, little taller than me, but I still can't wear heels around them for the most part. But I'm happy with my life and my looks, and I'm not gonna bitch anymore about that. So, uh, another question. You had facial feminism. Okay, this is a question I really wanted to answer, um, like a week or two ago, but I was waiting until like now. So, one other question to pose. Um, oh wait. Oh, I'll get back to that. I skipped some, but I'll go back to that. You had facial feminization surgery. Is your face fake? Why is the surgery the the um why is the FFS surgery okay, but the SRS surgery is creating something that's not real? Okay, they're referring to this video I made not too long ago, uh, where I kind of gave my opinions about um my personal opinions about sex reassignment surgery, um, and in the video, I, sorry if I'm, I seem all over the place, because I usually am, so you guys, you're, you're used to this, um, but basically in the video, I said that I personally did not want to undergo the surgery, or at least didn't think I wanted to right now, because I wasn't sure, I'm not sure if I am 100% comfortable with the idea of having a a man-made kind of constructed vagina, even though it's made out of the parts I already have, my current genitals, and it, they're reformed into a vagina. I don't know if I'd be happy with that. You know, I don't think that's something that would fulfill me as a woman. I don't... I mean, you, go watch that video if you want to hear everything I said. So, so, and I did refer to it as, in my in my eyes, in on my body, I would think of it as a fake vagina. Other people, that's their thing. And you know, I'm not going to judge them for doing that. I'm really not. Because that's our option right now. As, as trans people, that is our option, is the surgery. And there are so many girls out there... He, and everybody's different with their transition. That's that's the theme of these, of this, this series, this this parts, these parts of videos or whatever, um, is that everybody's different. So, your everybody's focus in their transition, you know, the things they're trying to get out of it are different. Personally, while I wish I had been born with a vagina, like if I could wake up tomorrow with a with a vagina sprouting out of me, I mean, like awesome. That would make my day my life. I would be the happiest person. Like, no joke. No lie. But, I wasn't. And I don't hate my penis. I don't. I don't hate it. Um, but before I could even, like, consider undergoing that surgery, first of all, I think I need more sexual experience. Honestly. Um, because if anal sex, because that's my option, if that could fulfill me sexually, then I don't think I need to undergo the, the surgery right now. But if it wouldn't fulfill my needs, then I would definitely look more into the surgery. Uh, bottom line, if uh, the option of like a vagina transplant was available, you know, where you get a donor to, to uh, give their vagina and then I surgically attach it to myself, and I think they're working on that. I think, or that's the thing. I think I read that somewhere a while ago. I don't know. 
but that would be something I would definitely, definitely, definitely be more into because it, it's a real working, living, breathing vagina. So anyway, to this question, now that you have some context, you had facial feminization surgery. I mean, is your face fake? Why is the surgery, is this surgery okay? But SRS is creating something that's not real. I'm not saying you're putting all people who get bottom surgery down, but I think you're bringing a lot of preconceptions and assumptions to it. It's all very individual. We should respect other people's needs and choices. If you decide not to get SRS, that's fine, and the right choice for you. Please similarly respect others and their needs, okay? Obviously, they were a little heated about it. I understand. I mean, it's a touchy topic. I mean, I knew, making that video, people were going to get their, their feelings hurt, or they were going to feel a certain way about it, and then I mean, that's totally fine. But, uh, I, first of all, I stated a few times in that video that that was, these were my opinions, personally, to my body. My body. My perspective on my, in my body. Not anybody else. And, personally, I would view that in my, on my body, if I got the surgery, I would think I would see it as a fake vagina. I mean, I would, just because it, I mean, it, it's constructed. It's, it's taking my scrotum, my penis, and, and like, dissecting and inverting and cutting and, and sewing it up to appear, very realistically, might I add, as a vagina. And for some women, that's, that is perfectly awesome with them because what they really, really want is that vagina, you know, that's, and, you know, I could definitely see the appeal of kind of taking this part of yourself that you've never really identified with, that you've never really felt comfortable with and changing it into something you can work with and something more that represents who you are today. I get that. I totally do. And that's great. And if that's what you want to do, do it. But for me, I can't do that right now. I can't because it, it doesn't fulfill my needs. It wouldn't fulfill my needs. So <clears throat> I'm not passing judgment on anybody. Sorry if you were offended. I really am. But that's my opinion about my body. Sorry about it. Sorry about it. <clears throat> okay. So let me get some more water. <clears throat> okay, though I've been sexually dead for five months, <clears throat> sorry you're sexually dead, that, that's got to suck, dude, um, not bothering me at all, but I've always wanted to ask this, does masturbation increase testosterone in transgender people? I don't, uh, no, I don't think, you know what, it might, actually, <clears throat> uh, it but only, I think it might increase testosterone levels just so that you can continue masturbating. Because the thing is, sorry, I mean, I'm sick. I'm sorry, guys. Um, you need testosterone. You need testosterone. If you do not have testosterone, for one thing, your libido will just be, it will be no more. Um. Because, I mean, like, even women have testosterone, and they need that for... I mean, like, you need that in your body to balance out your body. So, you know, it's upsetting when girls are trying their hardest to, like, get rid of all testosterone in their body. And, you know, that's what fucks them up. I mean, it is. You can't be fucking with your... With your, you know, your chemical balances like that. I mean, it's such a touchy, touchy, like, easy thing to fuck up. Like, don't. So, sorry, get a little off topic, but I don't think it increases your testosterone levels. I mean, and if it does, it's like only slightly, and I think it only really affects your ability to continue getting it up, which you want to do. So, you know, because uh, after you get uh, bottom surgery, I'm pretty sure you have to take testosterone supplements, or if you get castration, which I've considered, uh, just so that I don't have to take some of my medications anymore. Um, I mean, you have to take a supplement so that you, you know, you still can function. Um, yeah. But don't quote me on that about if it increases testosterone. I don't actually know. That's just my assumption. Um, 
I'm pretty sure you mentioned previously you were taking hormone treatments. Uh, what are some of the changes that your body underwent and how quickly did they affect, did they take effect? Body hair, facial hair, changes to genitalia, sexual urges, body contours, things. You know, it's funny. I think one of the first things I noticed about, you know, my body after I started, uh, taking hormones was, um, my testicles shrunk up. Um, and I mean, they're still there, but they're, I mean, they're, they got really small. Um. And then tenderness in my nipples started, um, maybe like three, I mean, like I really was noticing it like three months into it. Um, a lot of the things I noticed as far as like my skin and my um, fat distribution, I noticed in my face a whole lot, uh, like my cheeks and kind of like this part hollowing out, like the emphasis on my cheekbones. Um, my skin got a lot more clear and kind of like, like how do you, I mean, it kind of, it got brighter. Like, if you were to look at my skin a couple years ago in some of my older videos, I look like I'm like darker, but really it's just the way hormones have affected the pigment of my skin. Um, I really was really, 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 really excited about getting like more hips and like a bigger butt and some thighs and some boobs <clears throat> but it's only been until recently that I've really like noticed those changes and I mean it sucks but I mean that's just what happens I'm sorry about this light I don't want to like be so bright at you guys look I'm just like and I like how anytime I bring it up it just stops so I'll just I'll keep that in mind if it happens again um so where was I going with this? <laughs> so, yeah, uh, I mean, your, your body is definitely, definitely going to change, like, the shape of it, your muscle tone, that's another thing that I quickly noticed, was that it's going to reduce, um, not that I was really in shape or toned at all before hormones, but as a natural born male, you have a certain amount of muscle mass that you wouldn't as a female, so when you lose that, and it's pretty crazy, because, like, a few years ago, when I was actively doing martial arts and stuff, like, I mean, I wasn't the strongest kid, but, I mean, I had, I wasn't con too terribly concerned about, I was never, I never really felt threatened by other people's, you know, muscles. Um, but that could have also been that I was more active, too, and younger. Um, but now it's like, if I, even if I'm, like, play fighting with a boy, like, I don't stand a damn chance at all. And it's embarrassing. I don't know. It's funny. Like, that's that's something I always wanted, was, like, to feel, like, frail and, and small with a boy. I mean, it's, it's I still do, but it's just, like, I can't do shit. <laughs> I can't. You know, even if I'm just, like, play fighting with him, I mean, all he has to do is just, like, grab my arm and just toss me. And I'm like, oh, fuck. And it's just... <laughs> so, um... Yeah, I hope that answers your question. Um, yeah, so the skin, you know, the, the it cleared up my my acne a little more. Um, line, like my face, like you start to see it, it just gets more round. Like all the contours on your body get a little more round and softer. Things are a little squishier. Oh, and like all the women in my family on both sides, they carry a lot of their weight on their stomach. So I noticed <laughs> um, while my my natural waist got a little, like, you know, it came in a little more, like, it, it pooched, it, I have a little pooch in my stomach, and I, I'm so over it, I'm, and, but it's, like, so difficult to get rid of, so, gotta lay off them carbs, dude, I don't want to make a part for it, let's see, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm at the end of this, so we're good, um, oh, oh, I forgot to mention sexual urges, uh, and change, yeah, okay, facial hair, and body hair. Yeah, I didn't even mention those things. So back to the previous question. Um, body hair definitely reduced, but that again was within the last six months did I really go like, oh my gosh, like I don't have to shave my legs twice a week. Um, and yeah, and like the, the hair is finer and thinner. So even if I don't shave my legs for like a couple weeks, like it to me it looks a hot mess, but then I think about how they looked before hormones, and I'm like, oh, I have, like, girl legs now, um, 
And as far as facial hair goes, um, I had some laser, laser hair removal. Uh, I mean, I still have some, to be honest, that I have to deal with, and that's gross. And I'm sorry if I'm ruining anyone's perception of me, but I mean, that's just life. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, but hormones didn't really, I mean, it like, re it helps it to not grow as quickly, but it doesn't really reduce it. And I don't know why, and it's stupid, but whatever. So there's that. And then body hair. Yeah, I mean, that there's definitely a reduction with that. I mean, the hair is finer and thinner. Um, you know, stubble comes in much softer and lighter. And yeah. Uh, sexual urges. I've talked about this in a few, like a lot of videos, but it's like, I'm still, I still identify as like a sexual person. Like, and when I say that, I don't mean I'm promiscuous. I just mean that I feel like I can, I can, I connect on, on like a lot of levels when I'm being sexual with a person, uh, which is awful because it also makes me very vulnerable when I'm having sex. And that's why I don't hook up very much because, you know, there's always the risk that I'm going to end up liking them more than I should, you know, in that kind of situation. Um, and I get my little feelings hurt. <laughs> uh, but it, it your urges don't go away. They're definitely kind of softened, I would say. Um, you have less, much less of, of the urge to get off all the time, which I kind of miss, honestly. <laughs> I miss, like, wanting to masturbate constantly. Uh, it makes me feel old and, like, dried up, but I don't want to do that every day. Um, and I guess that's normal, I guess. Um, I'm also bummed out that nothing really comes out when I climax anymore. Because, I mean, that's a big part to, like, the male orgasm. Not the man orgasm. There's a difference. But, like, as a male, with a, you know, with a male body, you know, and you're trying to climax, it's, like, the big finisher. I mean, it just feels good. And so I miss that a little bit. Um, but, no, your urges don't go away. They're just, like, softened. And they're different. It's more emotional. Watch some previous videos that I talk about it. If you want specifics. Uh, do you know some method to make your hair grow fast? Or if you could tell us about the time when your hair was growing. This is, yeah. And you know, I'm trying to grow my hair out some more. Here, I'll take it down. Because um, I ended up cutting a whole bunch off uh, within the past few months. Because, I mean, it was just, the ends were really scraggly and, and like, dead. I mean, I... I mean, they weren't terrible, but I mean, I definitely see a huge difference now, like in the quality of my hair. I mean, it's just, it's just fuller and it, it's just healthier. Um, so thank you, cosmetology school for that. Um, so, but right now I'm trying to grow it back out. Cause if you guys remember my older videos, my hair was like here. I know I've said that 105 times, but I have like four to six inches before I'm going to be content with my hair length. So, um. Methods to making your hair grow faster. Um, I mean, there are a few things you can do. I am currently taking supplements, and I did this before. They're like, they're prenatal kind of vitamins. Um, they also have, uh, actually, I'm not taking prenatal. I am taking their hair, skin, and nail uh, vitamins, and they have a lot of biotin in them. Um, but prenatal vitamins work really well, too. Um, and that's why pregnant women usually say like, oh, pregnancy made me lose like all my hair. And it's, it's not that they lose their hair, although I guess you can from stress a little bit, but it's more that the hormones that your body is producing while you're pregnant make your hair, like make you grow a lot of hair and it gets thicker and longer and, and grow really fast. And then once you have the baby, your body stops producing all that excess, um, uh, new, what, what am I trying to say? They st it stops producing all that excess hormones and stuff so 